A. Altruistic followers and constructive critics. Are you and your beloved? Fine and dandy. It's an activist from preacher, Professor A. Suresh, back with absolute delight for me. 61st video in pipeline for publication on YouTube today, 13th of August 2020. Topic for discussion today is application of work study for productivity improvement and work simplification. Work study is a generic term for those techniques, particularly method study and work measurement, which are used in the examination of human work in all its contexts and which lead systematically to the investigation of all the factors which affect the efficiency and economy of the situation being reviewed, reviewed in order to affect improvement. Method study is the systematic recording and critical examination of existing and proposed ways of doing work as a means of developing and applying easier and more effective methods and reducing costs. Work measurement is the application of techniques designed to establish the time for a qualified worker to carry out a specified job at a defined level of performance. Productivity is the ratio of output produced to the input resources utilized in production. Total productivity is the ratio of aggregate output to aggregate input. Partial productivity is the ratio of aggregate output to any single input. Inputs are also called as resources. Any source that has alternate ways of usage is called as resource. Work content means the amount of work contained in a given product or process measured in man hours or machine hours. Basic work content is irreducible, minimum time, theoretically required to produce one unit of output. Total work content is the sum of basic work content in excess time. The excess time is the sum of time due to defects in design or specification of the product and time due to inefficient methods of manufacture or operation. Japanese call it as muda, also known as waste. Ineffective time is a time for which the worker or machine or both are idle due to the shortcomings of the management of the worker. Eight steps in performing work study uh, select the job to be studied. Record everything that happens using some recording technique. Examine the recorded facts critically and challenge everything that is done. Develop the most economic method taking into account all the circumstances. Measure the quantity of work involved in the method selected and calculate a standard time for doing it. Define a new method and related time. Install the new method as agreed standard practice with the time allowed. Maintain the new standard practice by proper control procedure. Method study often called motion study, method analysis or methods engineering is a systematic recording and critical examination of the existing and propose ways of doing work in order to develop an easier, apply easier and more effective methods and to reduce costs. It is used to improve process and procedures, plant layout, design of plant and equipment to reduce human effort and fatigue, use of materials, machines and manpower and to develop better physical and working environments. Method study is a complex technique that combines several simple tools, mostly charts and diagrams and other recording techniques. Method study tools are charts like outline process chart, flow process chart, multiple activities uh, chart, SIMO, diagrams like flow diagram, string diagram, cycle graph, travel chart, etc. The most commonly used method study tools are analysis of films, memo motion, macro motion, photography, micro motion analysis, questioning techniques. Work measurement establishes the time the qualified worker needs to carry out a specified job at a defined level of performance. Specified is like the specification or the product requirements are defined level is called as a standard level. Okay, and the qualified operator is an operator who doesn't uh, work really fast or uh, slow. We call it as a normal speed. Method study helps us to eliminate unnecessary movement. Work measurement helps us in investigating and reducing and subsequently eliminating ineffective time during which useful work is not being performed. Work measurement is also used to set standard times for carrying out work. Thus work measurement helps to compare the efficiency of alternate methods, balance the work of team members, determine the number of machines one can operate and monitor, provide information using set time standards on which planning and scheduling of production can be based, set standards for the machine use and labor performance, provide information for labor cost control and fixing standard costs provide information on which tenders selling prices and delivery promises can be developed based work machine provides a basic information that is necessary for designing planning organizing and controlling the work especially in industries where the time element is important 
the most techniques, the most important techniques of work measurement are work sampling, stopwatch time study, predetermined time standards, standard data. Work sampling or activity sampling, ratio delay study, random observation method, scrap reading method or observation ratio study, or work statistical work sampling helps us to find out the frequency of occurrence of a certain activity by statistical sampling and random observations. It is widely used in industry to compare the efficiency of two departments to provide for an equitable distribution of work in a group and to help managers become aware of the percentage of ineffective time and the reasons for it. Work sampling is based on probability and uses observation methods and statistical instruments such as curve of normal distribution, sample size and random techniques and the nomogram method. Time study is a work measurement technique for recording time and speed of working for the elements of a specified job carried out under specified conditions and for analyzing the data so as to compute the time necessary for carrying out the job at a defined level of performance. Main steps in time study are obtain and record all information available about the job, the worker and the environment, record a complete description of the method, breaking down the operation into elements, examine the detailed breakdown to ensure that the most effective methods and movements are being used and determine the sample size. Measure with the timing device, usually a stopwatch, and record the time taken by worker to perform each element of the operation. Assess the effective speed of working relative to the operator's subjective judgment. Extend the observed times to basic times or normal times. Determine the allowances to be made over and above the basic time for the operation. Determine the standard time for the operation. Basic is also called as a normal. And after allowing, adding allowances, required allowances, it becomes a standard time. The basic time study equipment includes stopwatch study, board time study forms, small calculator and measuring instruments such as tape measure, steel rule, tachometer, etc. Time study also requires ex extensive use of such techniques as performance rating in order to assess the rate of working and to relate it to a standard piece. The standard piece is maintained and the appropriate relaxation time is taken, a worker will achieve. Standard performance working over the working day or shift. The standard time for the job will be the sum of standard times for all the elements for of which it is made up due to due regard being paid to the frequency with ele which elements occur plus a margin for relaxation. Predetermined time standard PTS is a work measurement technique whereby times established for ba for basic move human movements are used to build up the time for a job at a defined level of performance. It is used to analyze the work content when the cycle of operation is very small involving micro motions. PT systems are thus techniques for synthesizing operation times from standard time data for basic movements. By examining a given operation and identif identifying the basic movements of which it is composed and then referring to PTS tables that indicate standard times for each type of motion performed under given circumstances, it is possible to derive a standard time for the operation as a whole. PTS systems can be applied in two main ways, direct observation of the worker's movements, mental visualization, of the moment needed to accomplish a new or alternative work method. Although several PT systems exist, the most widely used one is Methods Time Measurement, shortly MTM. Standard data banks containing work elements which occur repeatedly in the workplace are useful to avoid carrying out time studies for all new jobs. Instead, by breaking down the job into elements and referring to the data bank to derive the normal time for each element, it is possible to calculate the total time needed to perform the new job and to determine its standard time by adding appropriate allowances. Reliability of the data can be increased by standardizing as many elements as possible and by making sure that all factors are being considered. To develop a standard data bank, the following steps are recommended. Decide on coverage, break the various jobs into elements through job analysis, decide on the type of reading, determine the factors likely to affect the time for each element and classify them into major and minor factors. When using stopwatch time study, use our actual observation to measure the time taken to perform the activity. Record the observations on special forms depending on the system of measurement. A system of ma timing workers and recording their output is required for the full application of work measurement techniques associated with an incentive scheme. Incentive scheme is basically a motivation measure. An additional payment is given to the employees whose performance is better than the standard performance. Output booked is only the quantity that matches the quality standard for the product output. 
incentive scheme may either be individual or group. Group incentive scheme is easy to implement and simple. Individual incentive scheme is preferred by workers whose performance is better than the co-workers. Work simplification is a philosophy and set of procedures introduced in the 1930s based on the realization that the people who actually do a job are often the best placed to improve it. Instead, an army of specialists in time study, work measurement and methods analysis, it is often better to train workers to think creatively about the jobs and then give them incentives to make improvements. The person that does the job knows about the job much better than anybody else. So get the ideas through small work groups or quality circles. Work simplification consists of three elements, the philosophy, the pattern and the plan of action. Philosophy is that people know best how to do their own jobs and therefore should be involved in job improvement. They should be trusted by management and workers themselves should want to be want to be involved in job improvement. They should be trained to ensure success in work simplification. It is essential to build trust in the organization and to demonstrate management commitment to the philosophy. Workers work of pattern of work simplification means developing the tools and techniques of an organized approach, which is not the same as making flash improvements based on snap judgment. Moreover, when you are getting the uh, ideas from the people, actually doing the job, it is very easy to implement. Typically, work simplification uses the following six steps. Select the job to improve, get all the facts, make a project, process chart, challenge every detail, making all possible questions, risk possibilities, and improve necessary details. Develop the required method and introduce it and check results. Work simplification tools include flow process charts, flow diagrams, and economy of movements. One of the most improved important reasons for the decline of an enterprise or a supply, supply chain is low productivity. Failure to achieve the targeted level of productivity leads to a higher cost per unit, hence higher prices and low competitiveness in the market. In the current scenario of a competitive world, many companies are striving to maintain the competitiveness in the market. Productivity improvement at the local level cannot solely increase the productivity and profitability of a supply chain. Thus, it is very important to devise a competitive strategy that enables not only an individual stage but also the whole supply chain to improve productivity and profitability. Productivity is useful to assess or measure the extent to which a certain output can be extracted from a given output. This appears to be simple enough in cases where both the output and the input are tangible and can be easily measured. Productivity of an organization may vary as it may be affected by a number of external as well as internal factors. Internal factors are within the control of managers of an enterprise and these basically include the number of limitations within the operations of an organization. External factors are beyond the control of any employee. These factors comprise availability of raw materials, skilled labor, taxation, tariffs, for imposed by the government, infrastructure in hand, capital availability, interest rates, etc. In a typical enterprise, the output is normally described in terms of product services provided. Products are articulated in digits and valued based upon the compliance to predetermined quality standards. In service form, like a public or private transport company or maybe a travel agency, the output is expressed in terms of the services vendor. For service companies, it is uh, tough to assess the productivity. In order to achieve the best level of productivity, manufacturing and service enterprises should focus upon consumers or users' specifications, satisfaction, such as the number of compliance or rejects. In its quest for higher productivity and efficiency, minded management action influence either one or both of the two factors, the output or the input. Either we can get the try to increase the uh, output by keeping the input at the same level or uh, reduce the input for the same amount of output. Both ways, you are getting an increase in productivity. The management should aim to produce a larger. Okay, these things I already told you simply. Work study is mainly focused on investigating the way an activity is being, being carried out, simplifying or modifying the method of operation to reduce unnecessary non value, activi value act added activities in terms of rework, wastage, and finally fixing the standard time for the activity. Nowadays, uh, the concept is one has to work hard as well as smart. It is easy for anybody. Yes, fool can complicate simple things, but only a genius can simplify 
even complex things. The relationship between productivity and work study is noticeable. Operational efficiency is used as an indicator that reveals the level of effectiveness in using production resources. Production process uses other production inputs besides manpower. Hence, knowing the efficiency level of levels of other inputs which determines the relationship between these inputs and production as well as manpower and observing trends of these inputs and various conditions and replacing one or several of these inputs by changing the qualities and quantities enable businesses to achieve the maximum level of production to, to the optimum input combination. Optimize. The economic growth of a country is usually measured by its increase in production of the GDP, gross domestic product which comes from two sources, a larger quantity of production factors used and our increase in productivity. Productivity is therefore considered to be a component of growth. If work study results in cutting down the time of performing a certain activity by 20%, merely as a result of rearranging the sequence or simplifying the method of operation without additional expenditure, then productivity will go up by the same percentage, that is 20%. Productivity improvement is to do the right things better and make it part of a continuous process. Therefore, it is important to adopt efficient productivity improvement technique so as to endure individuals and the organization's growth in productivity. Productivity is an attitude of mind. There are different things. Peter Drucker said productivity means a balance between all factors of production that give the maximum output with the smallest effort. According to ILO, International Labor Organization, productivity is a ratio between the volume of output as measured by the production indicates and the corresponding volume of labor input as measured by the production indices and the corresponding volume of labor input as measured by employment indices. This definition applies to an enterprise industry or economy as a whole. The productivity of certain set of resources is therefore the amount of goods or services which is produced by them land and building, building materials, machines and manpower, labor, technology, other resources at the disposal of a manufacturing company. Therefore, higher productivity means that more is produced with the same expenditure. These things I have already told you. William J. Stevenson lists steps for productivity improvement. Develop productivity measures for all operations. Measurement is the first step in managing and controlling of an organization. We need to have indices. Look at the system as a whole in deciding which operations are most critical. It is overall productivity that is most important. Develop methods for achieving productivity improvements such as soliciting, soliciting ideas from workers, studying how often firms have increased productivity and re-examining the work, way work is done. Establish reasonable goals for improvement. Make it clear that management supports and encourages productivity improvement. Consider incentives to reward workers for contributions. Measure improvements and publicize them. Yeah. Proper recognition should be there for the good employees. Whether they are giving good ideas or their performance is better, it has to be properly recognized. Otherwise, it is a great big insult like slapping the person on the face in front of everybody. Don't confuse productivity with efficiency. Efficiency is a narrower concept that pertains to getting the most out of a given set of resources. Productivity is a broader concept that pertains to use of overall resources. For example, in efficiency perspective, from efficiency perspective and moving the lawn, even a hand mover would focus on the best way to use the hand mover. Productivity perspective would include the possibility of using a power mover. Different method. Okay. Importance of productivity can be summarized as follows. Productivity is a key to prosperity. Higher productivity leads to economic growth and social progress. Higher productivity requires elimination of waste in all forms. Improvement of productivity is important for any country. Any productivity measurement system should produce some sort of overall index of productivity. Small measurement program combines productivity measurements into an overall rating of performance. This type of system should be flexible in order to accommodate changes in goals and policies over time. It should also have the ability to aggregate the measurement systems of different units into a single system and be able to compare productivity across different units. The ways in which input and output are measured can provide different productivity measures. Disadvantage of, of productivity measures have been the distortion of the measure by fixed expenses and also the inability of production measures to productivity measures to consider quality changes. Quality is also important besides quantity. 
that's why in incentive schemes it considers only the quantity that is of the acceptable quality it is easier to conceive because normally if the tri workers try to increase the quantity they will try to compromise on quality that's a major loss for any company okay it's easier to conceive of inputs as tangible units such as number of items produced but other factors such as quality should be considered experts have cited a need for a measurement system that gives an equal weight to quality as well as productivity if quality is included in the ratio output may have to be defined as something like the number of defect free units of production or the number of units which meet customer expectations or requirements specifications therefore it is very essential to understand different techniques of measuring the productivity and its improvement there are multiple productivity improvement techniques various productivity measurement indices are labor productivity material productivity machine productivity capital productivity you know japan is very good for the quality prime japanese productivity improvement techniques are jidoka is a toyota concept aimed at describing the man machine interface such that people remain free to exercise judgment while machines serve their purpose jidoka system shows faith in the worker as a team top and allows all workers the right to stop the line on which they are working jidoka is offered referred to as automation with a human mind jidoka may be a working consists of following three principles do not make defects do not pass on defects do not accept defects second one is hey junka or japanese terms focuses on achieving consistent levels of production it is defined as distributing the production of different body types every evenly over the course of a day it incorporates the principles of line balancing by attempting to equate workloads leveling demand out by creating an inventory buffer and replenishing the buffer it believes in providing even workload for all employment employees agent has the capability of reducing lead times by minimizing time losses due to frequent process changes planning kaizen kaizen mean continuous process improvement it's a management support supported employee driven process where employees employees make a great number of con continuous improvement efforts five years of housekeeping a structured approach to achieve clean and orderly workplace by fixing place for everything five years is an abbreviation for the japanese word seiri saitan saiso saiketsu and shichuke seiri means getting rid of unnecessary items saitan means arranging items systematically for easy retrievability say so keeping workplace scrupulously clean speak and span say get so scheduling regular regular cleaning and cl clearing out operation shichuke making all the board task meet agreed standards at agreed intervals nuda elimination nuda means waste nuda elimination implies an ongoing and systematic reduction or elimination of waste there are seven kinds of major waste over production nuda stock nuda transport nuda defects nuda delay nuda motion nuda over processing nuda it helps to eliminate redundant process or parts of process delete non value added activity simplify motions minimize fatigue and reduce waiting time etc okay okay it's powerful and comprehensive method of error proofing zero error zero defects a work process to eliminate inadvertent errors to ensure quality products and services it helps in defect prevention and defect detection smed single minute dye exchange of dye especially in press tools press tool shop press shop is a technique of performing a setup operation in lesser amount of time it affects machinery setup for change over from job to one job to another in less than 10 minutes express as a single digit nowadays uh, you know companies do lot of variety but in small quantities so quick change change overs is very essential it helps in reduced working process or working progress
called as WIP, W I P work in progress or work in process. Better average daily production, increased capacity and faster delivery to consumers. Total productive maintenance, TPM, TQM, you know, total quality management, where the focus is, is in zero errors, zero defects. TPM, zero breakdowns, because breakdowns are very expensive. TPM is keeping machines in good working condition through systematic maintenance of equipment so that the, they fail less frequently and production process continues without interruption. Interruptions are very costly. Just in time, JIT is a management philosophy aimed at eliminating waste from every aspect of manufacturing and its related activities. JIT refers to producing only what is needed, when it is needed and in needed quality. No inventory. Inventory is basically money. I mean locked up at different places in uh, different stages of production, etc. Aim of JIT in a fact in a factory is to reduce lead times, minimize, minimize inventory, reduce the defect rate to zero and accomplish all of the above at minimum cost. If JIT has to work properly, we need to ensure that 100 percent, we need to ensure zero defect, no rejections, no defects, no rework, etc. There are three essential ingredients to effective manufacturing excellence through JIT. JIT manufacturing techniques that aims to promote a rapid response to customer demand while minimizing inventory, total quality culture to pursue excellence in both the product and every area of the business including customer service, purchasing, order taking, accounting, <coughs> maintenance, design, etc. <coughs> and people are employee involvement in the development of the organization through its culture and the manufacturing and other business of the process. No necessity for <coughs> inspection. The product or the component sub-assembly can be straight away taken to, to the area where it is required. Similarly, the product after manufacturing can be straight away sold, no inspection. Inspection doesn't add any value addition, it can reduce the value. Kanban, Kanban is a manual production, moreover, I mean, inspection can lead to increasing the lead time also, if it is lot by lot inspection and all that. Kanban, Kanban is a manual production scheduling technique controlled by a process or machine operator. Kanban means card in Japanese attached to a given number of parts of products in the production line instructing the delivery of a given quantity. The Kanban card after all parts products have been used up is returned by the operator to its origin. Production is controlled through demand originating from external customer. Process oriented management. Traditional management focuses mainly on results and individuals on their ultimate achievement. Tyson management emphasis on processing, process of achieving the results. Managers in POM, process oriented management are judged by people centered skills as time management, education and training, inter team participation, communication and morale boosting. Visual management is a method of providing in a clearly visible manner to both workers and management information on the current status including target of the various operations performed as well as various work pieces found at the workplace. Work standards represent the best way of doing the job and it consists of a set of documented policies, rules, directives and procedures established by the management for all major operations to enable employees to perform their jobs without errors and to enable management to minimize variations in output, quality, working process and task. The three elements of standardized work are tag time, work sequence and standard working progress. Key steps in implementing work standards are identify the key issue issues in the current process, map the process, then improve the process, implement the process and sustain the process. The PO, PDCA, SDCA, PDCA means plan, do, check, act is an endless improvement cycle which demands that each time pre team plans, does, checks, acts. Since every process is initially unstable, it must be stabilized using SDCA, standardized do, check, act cycle. It is also called as Deming cycle. Thus, uh, SDCA cycle must precede every PDCA cycle to consolidate gains into current process before raising the standard threshold. Statistical process control. 
SPC is application of statistical techniques to control a process and eliminate process variations due to assign assignable causes. SPC requires operators to do periodically sampling of the quality of their own output, enter data into control charts, analyze the trend and decide for themselves when to shut down the process and when to make adjustments, corrections to the process to prevent defects. Suggestion system, it is fundamental to the Kaizen philosophy. The process is owned by employees, though designed to benefit the company, inviting employees to suggest implement any idea, large or small, novel or mundane, concerning any aspect of the company life. Okay, debates, discussion and topics like this can go on forever. Anyhow, let me call it a day. I will meet again real soon. Some of the statements, views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades. Although, always watch these videos with closed caption for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation zillion times so far. I know I rushed through to complete the presentation within 20 minutes max. It's a time limit. I had set myself to retain the viewer's attention as now. I know nowadays I exceed this time limit since I make harder startups to cover the selected topic more elaborately, including so many intricate details regarding a referring a wide variety of resources, in particular Wikipedia quite extensively, besides articles and books published recently. In addition, of course, I add my own salt and pepper and masala based on my personal experiences so far in my life and also in future. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God alone can put a stop to natural and unnatural events, maybe bio or events like pandemics, which may lead to apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on Earth for all, no fault of God's. All the best. Rest in peace.